Part of the vanguard of the legendary Team Lakai, Crisanto Pitpitungi is the former bantamweight champion of PXC and one of the best flyweights in Asia today. Pitpitungi earned a shot at the PXC flyweight title after defeating the Muay Thai legend Ramba Samdet, but was forced to fight a non-title bout after missing weight. Now, Pitpitungi has another chance at being the first fighter in PXC history to become a champion in two divisions. Standing in his way, though, is the rising star Janelle Lausa. A standout prospect from Team Insider's boxing gym, Janelle Lausa clawed his way back to the top of the flyweight rankings after a disappointing decision loss to Ernesto Montilla Jr. at PXC 41. Since then, Lausa has been on a tear, getting three dominant wins straight in one of PXC's most stacked divisions and avenging his loss to Montilla in his last fight at PXC 48, ending the bout via first round KO. Lausa looks to usher in a new generation of homegrown Filipino mixed martial artists and take down the veteran tonight in the first title shot of his career. All right, PXC 51, our last fight of the evening. Don't blink. It's for the PXC flyweight title. And fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of Team Insider Boxing Gym in Iloilo. With a fight record of five and two, Five feet, five inches, 125 pounds. Let's welcome back to the PXC, Janelle Lausa! Destiny. That is what Janelle Lausa is chasing. This is his first title shot. And up against a man that he looked up to as his idol. Janelle Lausa riding a three dominant win streak. A knockout victory against Ernesto Montilla Jr. His wins coming from two submissions, two knockouts. He has boxing background and jiu-jitsu. Could this be the moment for the demolition man? The sky is the limit for this young guy. And uh, I'm telling you right now, James, he has the heart. Uh, he is the heart of a champion already. Win or lose the way he trains. Uh, he's had an awesome training camp. It was exciting. Uh, Jonathan Thorpe sent him all the way to uh, Thailand along with Glenn. Uh, you see him there in the corner. Uh, these guys are surrounded by greatness as uh, they got you know, famous people training with them. Uh, but the fact that uh, he's gotten to go and travel in a, and, and go to a different country and train uh, is a huge uh, confident booster for, uh, for this young guy. I'm really looking forward to this. is one of my favorite uh, prospects in the, uh, in the PXC. And uh, I expect nothing but greatness for this young man. He looks in tip-top shape, talking about Janel Lausa. And uh, during the press conference, he was all smiles. He's happy, he's excited, he's hungry as he enters the terror dome. Yeah, they had him looking like a million bucks at the press con. With a fight record of eight and three, five feet six inches, also 125 pounds. He is a former bantamweight champion of the PXC, now fighting for the PXC flyweight title. Let's welcome back, Crisanto Pit Pitungi! History. That is what Crisanto the slugger Pit Pitungi wants in PXC 51. He wants to be the first man in PXC history to win championships in two different weight divisions. Coming down to flyweight, Crisanto Pitpitunga told me that he feels stronger, he feels faster, and in the fight game, speed kills. Well, Crisanto Pitpitunga has already made history as the first Filipino to hold the Bantamweight belt. And now he looks to be the first Filipino to hold a flyweight belt. Um, you know, to be honest, as I saw him in the weigh-ins, I wasn't sure if he was going to make weight. Uh, he literally drained every ounce of fluid he could possibly lose to make weight. Um, he looked like a walking zombie. He was, uh, he was exasperated, so I'm hoping that that doesn't come into play as he overexhausted himself. But uh, we, don't have to, we don't have to worry about the heart of Krasanta Pitpitungi. He's already proved that. He's fought the best. 
He fought, you know, when he got the title in the first place against Cruz. He has heavy hands. He lowers his chin and starts swinging. So that'll be the case here. If that'll be the case here tonight, let's see if Janelle's twin, uh, chin is strong enough to take that that hit, or if uh, Janelle's hit is enough to go for the win. X factors in this fight. X factors. You got a little more technique and experience coming from Chris Pitbuthungi, but you got a lot of heart and stamina coming from Janelle Losa. And you need your championship ring girl, ring girl to usher in round number one with Abby Poblador welcoming us to our main event. This is for the vacant BXC Flyweight Championship. Kurt Mann in the middle of the ring. Last dawn. Donnie Provina. Oh, yeah. Pretty good fight. So a uh, quick hello to my friends and family in Matabao, Bohol, my new home, where I'm working now. I'll be home soon. Thank you so much for everyone watching PXC 51 on Sports 5. Team Lakai Red for Crisanto. Black and yellow for Janelle. Here we go. Should be a great fight. Both guys are hungry for history. Missing that first leg kick, it was Crisanto. Goes up top, locked up top. Janelle's more than excited to be in this fight. Crisanto looking for a takedown. Lausa scrambles. Lausa puts him up against the cage. Crisanto, almost gets to put it down. Leg sweep. Nice little lock of arms there as they kind of throw each other back and forth. Back up against the fence they go. Already know the jiu-jitsu background of Janelle Lazo. He, he's had some sufficient victories. So he's more than capable of uh, putting together a dangerous situation for his opponent. And we also know the takedown amazing slams of Team Lakai that could be uh, quite dangerous for Janelle Lazo also. Ooh, yeah, big swing and a miss for Lazo. Big swing from that left. We know that left hand packs power as uh, we've seen it take down and knocked down several opponents in the past for Janelle. You have to watch out for the Crisanto Pitbitungi counter. Oh yeah, that overhand right that Crisanto has is one of his main weapons. And uh, we have to, he has, Janelle Rosa has to be very careful that he doesn't get caught up in that slugfest that Crisanto could really throw on. It's been a calculated start for both men. Rosa trying to press forward. Lausa didn't really have to cut much weight. The press con only had to lose a couple more pounds. Is it this hold here? It's the neck of Crisanto attempt. Is it a tight hold? But Petunga picks him up mm. and puts him down. Almost ends up in side control there as you know, Lausa locks up that leg. Now it looks like Crisanto might be trying to go for a Kimura, Kimura but let's go. Stay disciplined here with under three minutes remaining. He's still not letting go of that arm. He ties it free. There we go. Let's go. Jeanette gets that arm free and now he pulls, pulls Cassanto on top of him. Look for him to try to go to his side, maybe push off a little. This has been the question leading into the fight. How much has the ground game of Pit Pitung improved? And uh, how well does Laosa work off of his back? Under two minutes remaining. In the past, Pit Pitung has had a pretty good ground and pound game. It's one of the better uh, Team Lakai fighters to be able to take down somebody and then do something with it. Oh, good push off by Laosa. Head kick blocked away. Also comes up smiling. Those guys square off again in the center of the Terra Dome. Mm. Also trying to establish his job. Overhand right. Big swing and a miss for Janelle. 
For a minute and a half. Right kick pop. Down to the right. Straight right there for Janelle. These guys are really, really close to each other. The reaction time is amazing. Split second. We got one minute left here in the first round of this main event. 125 belt. Flyweight belt is on the line. And I couldn't choose uh, two other fighters that are uh, more legitimate right now to step into the Terradome for this belt. So I like it. These guys have worked hard. 30 seconds remaining in round number one. Probably say that uh, Crisanto is probably, ooh, you know, swinging hard, but it's like Crisanto is probably over 1, 135 right now as he uh, stepped into the territory and he put a lot of weight back on. Ooh, ooh a body, body shot. Ooh. Oh, that's a knockback. Crisanto, does he smell blood? 10 second warning. Crisanto firing away. Now's a survival mode. Crisanto, evil intent. Rights nice. and left. We're gonna miss. Ooh, nice takedown. Explosive end to round number one. Very, very good takedown there for Janelle Lousa. He got tagged a couple times there. We will be right back. Stay tuned for more MMA action. All right, one more time. As expected, fists were flying. In this championship bout, and Crisanto bit Pitunga towards the end, caught him with that left hook counter. Lausa got knocked back, probably dazed a little, and then Pit Pitunga fired away, right, left, until the very end when Lausa was able to sneak in a takedown to end round number one. Yeah, we sure saw a lot of swinging, but I don't really know how many shots actually connected. Maybe a couple went through, but not enough to take Lausa out of the game as he went in for that takedown and scored that takedown in the first round. Here we go, round number two. Wow, what an amazing first round. Flavio Belt on the line. Janelle Lausa versus Crisanto Pitcuni. Starting off right in front of us. Crisanto is known as a slugger. Bounces around. Oh, nice, inside leg kick. Nice inside leg kick coming from Pitcuni. Another one. Another one. Same spot. Swing and miss there. Ooh, if he catches him the right. That's a firing back. Oh, there's the head down, overhand right coming from Pitcuni. And Janelle fires back with a one two. Here's oh, the typical Pitcuni that we see where he just puts his chin down and starts swinging away. Gave Dean hold here. Lausa trying to get it in. It might be in thick there. Janelle's holding on. He gets one hook over. See if he can get the other one out. Gonna be a dangerous situation for the slugger. I hope he's deep. Lausa no pulling back. How deep is it really in? Oh, it looks no, like. No, no, no. Santa seems to be okay. I think he's going to be able to pull off. Under that arm. Yep. But still, Frankie, that neck. Very awkward position. Oh, he went the wrong way there. This could be even dangerous. Good scramble. Janelle gets up. Nice little scramble coming from Lausa and Pipatuni there. And keep an eye out for that typical Pipatuni where he lowers his, lowers his head and just starts swinging. You know, there's not a lot of technicality in that, but that's what he does, and that's how he's won in the past. That's how he won the championship in the first place in the final eight. Wow, Janelle pounds the body. Oh, 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 nice. Lousa. Swinging away. But These Dune guys are going back. at it. He's for a single leg. Wow. No holding back as we see elbows now coming from Lausa. is going for a double leg. Looks like he might have it. But Janelle's on top. Nice elbow to the head. Staying active against Pit Pitunga. Oh, yes. And Janelle's doing the right thing, pushing his head down, keeping the balance off him. Pit Pitunga. Lausa with a nice elbow nice again. Corner. Oh, oh. Get over there. Side of the cage, and finally Pitunga overwhelms him. That's the side control. See if Lausa can scramble back up to his feet here. He's a lot of options here for Pitunga. Oh yeah, well for Lausa also, he could use the fence right now to push up and over and land on the back of Pitunga. 
I think that's what he's trying to do. He's looking for an angle here. Getting his leg in there. Pepuna is trying to get an arm again. There we go. Outside. Very good. Oh, he's back over. You can't push off the cage with your feet. As Lausa was trying to go for a, maybe a scissor trick with his legs there, got stuffed. Still trying to hold on to that right arm of Jenner Lausa, but finally let's go. Still in side control though, with a minute and 46 remaining. Lausa is able to turn over, but now his neck is in danger. As Santo holds on there. Slowly but truly adjusting that hold. Pushing him out, pulling him down. What he needs to do is spin around to the back. Typical wrestling, a wrestling spin there. See, as his coach is calling for him to go around to the back. He wants to spin. Try to get to the back. But he tries to pull. He pulls guard. And he's got the oh. arm of Janelle. Awkward hold here. It's okay. Janelle is fine. Now he's got Santos neck. It's a wrestling okay. battle this time. Janelle's on top now, laying down elbows on the side of Santa Pukatuni. Kind of a semi north self position here. As Santa lets go and goes up, now they're in a full north south. south. So he's going to make the scramble first and see what happens here. Trying to get on his feet. Santa takes the ankle of Lausa. 30 seconds remaining. Here in round number two. Stand still right now, these guys. Like to see some elbows from Lausa on the side of the body of Presenta. Elbows. Ooh, nice elbow to the side of the head of Pukatuni. This one's through a lot of damage. 10 second warning. Another elbow. He has to keep aggressive here. Another 10 elbow. seconds left. One more. Another elbow. Woo. Those, Another one. Those do not feel good. I don't care who you are. Oh, wow. End of the round, though. More action in just a bit. This is the main event of PXC 51. All right, one more time for Nika Matrez. That round, tough to call. Both fighters landing their shots. Bit Betungi got rocked with that left hook by Janelle Lausa, but. The former bantamweight champion coming back, firing away, and fighting back against Jenna Lausa. That was a beautiful second round. Non-stop action-packed rounds here so far for this main event of the ED. PXC 51 is not disappointing us at all. It landed some strong shots, both Janelle and Crisanto. Now it gets tricky because they're all sweaty and the wrestling and grappling could be more slippery. As we enter round number three. Inside leg kick connects. Wow, these guys are sweating up the storm here. They stand in exchange. Who's gonna throw the first hard punch or who's gonna throw the first hard kick? Janelle's standing right in front of Crisanta Pitpatuni. Got to keep that chin down so Pisanto doesn't come in with that overhand right, like he usually does. Accidental groin shot there coming from Pukatuni. Inside leg kick. Got a small mouse on the left eye of Janelle Lausa. He's eating a couple shots. I wouldn't be surprised though if the side of the head Pit Patuni is also in too. Oh, is he eats elbow. another elbow. And elbow. another elbow. He's Spons relentless, to trying to put him down, trying to take him down. Another elbow. Right on the ear. Lausa just has to keep that up. Uh, yeah, he should probably do a couple more of those right where he's at right now. He's in great position. He's got stance for it. And as he goes to the midsection of Crisanto, Crisanto is not letting go of that leg. Intent of trying to take down and scoring against Janelle Lausa. Continually punishing the left side of Pisanto as he finally gets a little head shot in there. Again, the weight cut could be a factor here against Pisanto Pitpitone as the fight goes on. It could be because uh, the nutrients in your body, the energy in your body, uh, you could only put 
so much back in in the short amount of time that you have. Wow. He goes down. Nice slam coming from Pitkutumi. That's the typical Team Lakai takedown. They don't take down lazy, they take down hardcore slams. Janelle seems to be doing okay as he's got the neck again of the Crescento Pitkutumi. 39 left in round number three. Looking up over at his, his corner. Santo looks okay. Santo is right in the position where he wants to be, though, with his corner man right there next to him. He could hear them speaking to him, telling him what to do. They're telling him to stand up and put pressure on the neck of Janelle. As Janelle is kind of just holding him in place. Doesn't have a choke or anything. He's just kind of holding him in place. Just so he won't have maximum strength. Yep. Uh, on this grounded pass. Janelle is actually in a position to reverse here, but he put his leg up and over the body where he could he could have reversed it. Ended up on top, but he goes for a body lock instead. Santo trying to escape the hold. He does. He can put on some pressure in dominant position. Mm. Nice little short rights there for Lausa. Just to knock him back. Just let him know that he's there. You guys are pulling away from the fence there. Back to full guard. Under a minute and a half remaining. Crescento <laughs> seems to be catching his breath as well. So he tries to pass that guard. Now they're just kind of sprawling around. Donna's going to stand him up in the middle of the cage. He didn't see enough action, so to the center they go. Back to stand up. And both men are equally dangerous. So both eyes of uh, Janelle Lausa seem to be a little darkened at the moment. He's got both hands up there and chin down. Santos bouncing around left and right. Great head movement. Mm. Nice body kick there from Lausa. Body kick as well from Santa Pitpitoli. Blocked by the arm. There's that overhand left coming from Pitpitoli. You get the sense that Lausa is just timing those uh, overhand rights and lefts of Pitpitoli to land a solid counter. I'm sure he's going to be pretty fast when it comes to it. Ooh, nice left from Lausa. Santo trying to get him back. Another counter. Lausa finding his mark. And a quick to end wow. the third round. Get the round. We'll be back. Stay tuned for more action. Entering the championship rounds, round number four, about to start. Here's the authoritative Team Lakai throwdown from Casanto Pitpitunga. Your thoughts on the previous round? That could have been a pretty uh, dangerous takedown there for, for Lausa. They always tell you if you're going to go down, don't put your arm out because there's always a chance that you're breaking or dislocating your shoulder. Uh, thankfully, that didn't happen for, for Janelle Lausa. He got took down, but uh, he showed some good hits as he was almost uh, dominating with those elbows there in that round. But this is round four, championship rounds. First time for Lausa to be in this uh, situation. His conditioning seems to be good so far. Pushing forward, straight left. You see how he stands pretty straight in front of his opponent. Wherever uh, you can see the stance of Chris, uh, Chris Anthony as he's more on his side. I nice up the front kick there for Lausa that did not connect. He continues to target that inside leg of Lausa. Lausa seems to be doing okay though. I think uh, Hunter is he, ooh, couple Good shots defense, there from Crispanto, yeah. Lausa 
also inching his way inside. Nice. Great kick coming from Pikachu. That tie is looking very red from our seat. The ideal thing for Kusanka to do is take that lead leg out. If Janelle allows us or uh, takes the pep out of his step. As Kusanka is really going for that takedown, but then ends up putting his neck out there. See Janelle laying down elbows on the midsection of Kusanka Pikutunya. Sharpest part of the body. Once again, I would like him to spin around, as his leg's caught right now, but a second ago, spin around and take the back of his opponent. One of those wrestling basics that we don't see as much here as we see in other, uh, other international organizations. No man's land here for Kusanta Pitpitunga. Okay, holding on to that left leg of Janelle. Janelle is now putting elbows to the midsection. He's getting to work. And he turns and ends up on the bottom with Janelle on top punishing that midsection. As, you find it, as long as you find a target area, you have to bring down some punishment. Janelle definitely showing the judges right now that he is doing more striking. He's doing more body damage. But the thing he tries to pick up for another big slam. It was unsuccessful. Watch your cage, Chris! Uh, Janelle wants to step out of this. Watch your cage, Chris! Elbow again there. That's so gotta be also. hurting Kusanta Pipitoni multiple times. I've lost count. Oh, yeah. I trust you. He'll feel it. He'll feel it in the morning. He pushes away. Ready to go back to battle in the center of the tear dome. Kusanta has a wide open mouth as he goes left and right, switches stance. He's oh, uppercut. Looking, oh, yeah. He's looking for that big punch as Janelle grabs the neck once again. Let's see if he's gonna pull it down. As Kusanta has gas left in the tank to try and counter and defend this one. He's holding on to the other arm of Lausa so he can lock on the guillotine. The breathing of Lausa seems to be doing okay so far though. He hasn't quite emptied out his tank yet. A minute and 36 remaining. Santa is under Leonard, trying to take him down with that one leg. Not that like one leg. He's spending so much energy. Way right too much here. time. Yeah, way too much time and energy. He's trying to pull it in, but he's already on the bottom right now. As, as he's going to fall right into this man again, coming from Lausa. Lausa's controlling him. Back to next out. Lausa could really bring some power, right, uh, some punches right there on the sword plus He's right there to the stomach. As Pipitunia scrambles, sprawls out, trying to get out. And then need them. Very difficult position for Pipitunia. Lassa with a short elbow. 46 seconds for me. Lassa trying to control that left hand. Trying to take away the defense. Lassa's in side control right now. With Petunia underneath, not really doing much. We haven't seen much uh, action coming from him besides holding on. Has the energy been spent? Has the gas been poured out? What does Crisanta Petunia still have to take control of this fight once again? Dying seconds of round number four. Also looking for some ground and pound. Not good for Crisanta Petunia right here as he just covered up, which is a bad sign for a fighter. Lost it at the end, round wow. number four. Wow. We need one more round to determine who will go home with a vacant PXC Flyweight Championship. We enter the championship round, round number five, between Cresanto the Slugger, Pit Pitunge, and the Demolition Man, Janel Lausa. All right, my fans, let's do it once again. Our round number five. What do you want to see in the very last round? I want to see Janelle Lauser come out with an authoritative punch to take out Kazanta Pitkabuni. This is the fifth and final round. This has been an amazing fight. I'm really excited to see. The belt is up for grab, James. And uh, we need to see a champion 
come out of this really standing strong. I'd rather see a knockout or a submission than a decision for a championship belt. And here we go. Both fighters praying to the heavens for strength, for guidance. Fifth and final round. Golf sportsmanship for the final round. Here we go. Who's going to have that punch? Will it be the slugger, Santa Petrini, or will it be the young and hungry Janelle Lausa as he backs up? Ooh. Oh, left hook! Beautiful left hook. Left hook as well from Crisanto. 1-1, one, one, right there. Crisanto Uppercut. comes in. More energy this time from the slugger. Knee to the body. Take down. Down. Sweep, but taken down by Lausa. Let's see if Lausa can do some damage here on the body. There we go. This is scoring points in the judges' cards. Ren Renino in the corner of Lausa just telling him to hammer away. But he's wary about his left hand being held on by Pintatumi. Pitumi has a plan here. He wants to execute something. Janelle is continually pounding away on that side, hopefully softening up Pitumi to where Pitumi is forced to let go of the hold that he has on Janelle's arm. As long as Janelle keeps it locked up like that, Pitumi can't do much to it now. His solar plexus is opening up, and he's going to start hitting the abs area. Elbow, elbow, nice. Gets it free. Good Almost job there side for control. Janelle Lausa, as he's moving towards side control. Now he can use the elbows on both sides, on the head and the body. Let's stay active though here. The judges are watching to see who the aggressor is. Good job coming from Janelle, pounding on the side of Pisanta Piccatini. This is interesting to see. Ooh, nice. Piccatini looking to scramble out. He's on top now. He has to do something drastic and convincing. Good job there coming from Pick the King with it. Pull off that, but now what does he do? Because he's just staying on top where Lausa was on top and he was raining down punches in the side and the face, as he is still doing from the bottom. North to south. But I like how Janelle has his arm locked up. We got cheers from the crowd coming from Crisanto. Crisanto's really at a standstill position, cannot really do anything. Now, Janelle has his head and his arm locked up. As he's trying to pull him down in. Remember, Laosha is a submission specialist. His head pops out. But he has to do something here. He has to launch his offensive. Under two minutes remaining in the final round. As Janelle Lausa is breathing hard, Crisanto remains to stand on top. Lausa's still the one punching away. It's not the typical uh, Team Lakai fighter as we've seen from years past. Crisanto usually is on top and very dominant and pounding away. He just seems to be kind of sailing with the wind at the moment. Final minute in round number five. The crowd is going crazy in the packed house here in Solero Casino. Wow, nice short hands coming from Janelle Rausa. With the more active fighter. Forty-five seconds remain. Pressure pack. Final few seconds. Donny Elvino wants to stand him up. Presenter does not want to stand up. Ross is ready to go to war. 
Last 15 seconds of the fight. We want to see some action here. Some overhand rights, some lefts. Let's go. 10 second, second warning. Let it go. Let him fly. Whatever the decision, we will go home with a Filipino BXC champion. Chrysanto rocked him early. Nalsa was active till the end. Who will go home with a BXC flyweight championship? About to find out what a fight that these two guys put on all the way to the last second. Unofficially, what is your observation? Well, we had some great takedowns from both guys. But uh, at the end there, we really, really, really did see Janelle Lousa be more active on his back and on top. He might have the edge, but we're about to find out. We will go to the judges' scorecards in just a moment. The demolition man looking to fulfill his destiny. First title shot. The slugger looking to write history to be the first BXC fighter to win championships in two different weight divisions. Could be a close call. But this all Filipino affair has come to its end. And we anxiously await the final decision. I mentioned a lot of factors going into this fight, the tremendous weight cut. But Victor Kilme had to undergo his experience as a champion against the hunger and drive of the young challenger, Janelle Lausa. In the ground and pound situation, Lausa was active and aggressive, raining down elbows and hammer fists in dominant position. Who will go home with some golden hardware? The announcement to be made by Chris Barnett. And a new champion will be crowned right now. All right, club fans. First of all, let's make some noise for both of these fighters tonight. And we have an official ruling from Gab with, with Judge Juan scoring about 48 47. Lausa. Judge two scores the bout. 48, 47, Pit Pitunge. Judge three scores the bout. 48, 47, Lausa. And our winner by way of split decision and the new flyweight champion of the PXC, Janelle Lausa. And the celebration is on. He completes his date with destiny. First shot, that's all he needed. The new PXC flyweight champion, the Demolition Man, Jenna Lausa. Wow. Let me hear you if you enjoyed tonight's fights, ladies and gentlemen. Janelle, samahan mo na ako dito sa kitna. Halika mo na. Janelle, sa totoo lang, natutuwa ako. Dahil napaka-excited naman yung pinakita mong fight. You did a great job, you put on a great fight. Bigay mo sa amin yung nasa isip mo kung ano yung feeling na yun na ikaw yung pinakabagong champion ng PXC. Sobrang saya! Woo! Thank you, thank you, Lord! At sa mga fans ko, yung mga teammates, yung asawa ko dyan, yung mga coaches ko dito, mga supporters ko, lahat. Nagsusupport na sa akin. Thank you, thank you so long. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful time being able to call your fights. And I know that we're going to have lots of more of these fights to come. 
Go ahead and say thank you to everybody you want to say. Thank you, too. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa mga fans ko. Magbigay ka ng bala sa mga tao na gusto lumaban sa'yo. Magbigay ka ng warning sa mga tao na gusto lumaban sa'yo. Ah, uh, kung sino man yung, yung ibibigay ni Sir AJ sa challenger ko, pag-aanda natin yan. He said, whoever they're going to give him next, they better get ready. It's been an amazing time calling this card. It's been an amazing time hosting Janelle. He did a wonderful job. Congratulations you. I can't wait to see your next fight. Jonathan. Hi, Sir Crester. Kay Master Roland Campos. Kay Coach Baluyot. Kay... Kay nutritionist ko si Shad. Ladies and gentlemen, your new flyweight champion, Janelle Lausa. And what a start to PXC's 2016 year. Found a new champion. The new PXC Phantomweight Champion, Juan Ho Kwok, and now the new PXC Flyweight Champion. His first title shot and his first championship, the Demolition Man, Janelle Lausa. What a start for PXC 51 and what a finish for us here in Sports 5. And on behalf of my partner, Uriah Vandenboss, and the hardworking men and women of Sports 5, my name is James Velasquez. We'll catch you on the rebound and see you as the next fight, this is PXC on Sports 5.